switch on, you turn it up rather. Right <coughs> This is a scaled-down model of the complete levitator. It's three U-cores with coils on and an aluminium plate that's going to float. All right, if we switch on, put on the plate. It floats with about an inch gap and is stable in all directions. Okay. Now what we have made already on the scaled up full size version is one of these units. So now we'll show you... Can I just hold you just there? Yep. I would just, what I would like you to do is just to say, just that piece again, one of these units. Yep. Okay. Yep. Is one of these units. So what you'll see is a large U-core with encapsulated coils wound on it. That's, that's for a shot. Mm. Okay. Yeah. Okay, something like that. Yeah, okay. Just give it a short pause and then go ahead. Okay. Now this is one of the U cores. These are the two oh, pole pieces. Hang on, Prof. Sorry. You didn't no. know I was going to do that? No. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, there's something I have to go and switch on there at some stage as well. Yeah, that's all right. We're not up to that yet. No. Okay, yeah. Prof, any time. Go ahead. Well, this is a complete unit of one of the U-cores, and these are the pole pieces sticking through. At the moment, we've only got six coils per side. But this is blocked up with wood, and we do have room for another nine coils, making 15 in all, if we should need them. Now we'll put on the aluminium plate. Okay. That's as far as we go. Yes, this sheet weighs about a hundred pounds. Ready when I am? Yeah. Okay. Now this aluminium sheet weighs about 100 pounds. At the moment we've got it anchored on a rope at that end to take the weight and a backstop just in the centre. The coils are going to take the weight at this end. All right, switch on. Now it's floating, as you see, but it isn't laterally stable. I can't quite take my hands off because it drifts sideways. This is because it isn't yet high enough. We're only operating at 200 volts. All right, switch off. Now, Barry, when, when you switch on this time, lift it well up. Higher than that. That's it. OK, are you right, Colin? Okay, Barry, switch on. That's what I mean. Now lower it until it's just floating. Now at that voltage, it's floating about seven inches above the coils. Okay, Barry, off and I get it, catch the weight. And lower it. Thank you. Yes, um, I'm going to start off saying this time we're going to put it on 400 volts and I want you to notice the increase in lateral stability. 
and then we do it. Now shout switch on rather louder. Now this time we're going to do it at 400 volts with a higher lift and I'd like you to notice the increase in lateral stability. Okay, switch on. Now I can practically take hands off. It's just on the point of becoming laterally stable. Okay, off. Right, now Barry, if you'd come and do the honours again. Barry, on again. And you finally nearly can have hands off this time. <laughs> this time, the supported height is 11 inches which is halfway to our target. Okay. Now when we get some extra voltage and we put the other nine coils on each limb, then the height will certainly go to two feet and the stability should be complete. Remember also that this is lifting practically a full-size plate with only one U-core and in the final version there will be three of these which multiplies the lifting force again by three and there should be no difficulty in lifting a 200 pound load in addition to the plate. Now when we have a bigger voltage available and we put the other nine coils on each side we confidently expect to lift this to two feet and the lateral stability will have increased until it is a completely hands-off system. Remember also that this is taking the whole weight of the plate at the moment with only one unit and there are to be three units and therefore there will be ample for lifting force to lift 200 pounds in addition to the weight of the plate. 